Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm Nub Queen and welcome back to Valheim. Let's talk about what we need to prepare for Miss Lands today. This is for people who are just entering Miss Lands for the first time or before we can craft anything with Miss Lands ingredients. So everything we talk about in this video will be something that we can get before we reach Miss Lands. Keep in mind, we will die, no question about it. When we enter a new biome, we know nothing about it and how it will be like. So it is okay to die, just make sure we put a portal down before we go all in. First of all, the armor. Simple enough, we will be wearing padded armors and upgrade them to the highest level. Weapons might be a little bit tricky, because the Seeker family in Mistlands are mostly resistant to Pierce, a Slash, and Blunt. It is because their shell, that's why they're resistant to physical damage. So we need to find something that's not just dealing physical damage, and I think Frostner might be the most effective in this case because the frost damage it deals. Where, where is my Frostner? Ugh. You know when you move and you just can't find some stuff that you already know that you had? Yeah, this is exactly what is going on right now. <laughs> anyway, I'll find it eventually. <sighs> also bring our dragger fan, needle arrows, and frost arrows to attack y'all or anything that we can keep our distance from. We'll need potions for sure. Lots of medium healing potions and stamina potions. Then food. We will want to make bread for stamina, serpent stew, and lox meat pie for health to make sure we live through all the mislands. Time to do some grindings. Next, choose a forsaken power. Choose bone mass forsaken power for general mobs, or we can do Yagla's forsaken power only for against the fire damage mobs. Player's choice. For me, I use bone mass forsaken power and take fire resistant potions. Now, if we have defeated Yagloth already, we'll find our Yagloth thing has turned into Torn Spirit, using the Torn Spirits to build a Wisp Fountain. Make Wisp Light and later on the other stuffs. And now we have everything. Woohoo! Let's go! Whoops, forgot to eat food first. There are five new mobs in the Mistlands. That includes Seekers, Seeker Brood, Seeker Soldiers, Tick, and y'all, finally, of course, the queen, our new boss. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six new mobs. That is y'all. It's a massive flying jellyfish. I call it jellyfish to make it cuter, but bleh, it's so gross looking, I just can't. They deal massive fire damage and will spawn ticks on occasion. Even more gross. We will use our bow and arrow to shoot at y'all's belly. That's its weak spot. If we choose to get Yakla's Forsaken Power, we can cut down the fire damage taken by at least 50%. But I think Fire Resistant Potion does exactly the same thing. Y'all have a chance to drop Bio Bag, which we can make Bio Bomb out of it. And it might also drop y'all Trophy. Tick is immune to nothing, but they seem pretty weak that we can just one shot or two shot them with anything. We will use our shield to block them, then just attack with our Frostner. Roll away if they latched onto us. Ugh, so gross! We can attack the ones on our back by rotating ourselves while swinging our weapon at the same time. This will take some practice. I've also seen someone mention using an ooze bomb to distract them and kite them around. If that's the case, then ooze bomb is finally getting used. I'm so happy about this. Take half chance to drop blood clot and take trophy. As mentioned before, seeker families are resistant to pierce, slash, and blood. So use Frostner as our main weapon of attacking. Seeker has chance to drop seeker meat, ca ca carapace, and Seeker Trophy. Seeker Brute has chance to drop uh, the Royal Jelly and Seeker Soldier have chance to drop Carapace, 
Mandible, Seeker Me, and lastly, Seeker Soldier Trophy. Seeker Soldier is the toughest regular mob in the Seeker family, I feel. I'm not dealing with it very good here because I'm still having trouble timing parry. In theory, we will shoot them with our elemental arrows, that's frost or fire arrows, when they are far. And when they're close, we need to parry them. Use our frost nerd to attack. They also have a weak spot that is underneath their tails, the pink spot right there. <sighs> I really need to work on my parry skills, honestly. If we happen to meet the Virgers, the mages in Mistlands do not take their stuff, break their stuff, or attack them. They can be our safe haven if we're in trouble, but do not make them mad. They will not be kind to us anymore. There are a lot of resources that we can get from Miss Lance that I won't get into in this video or else it will be super long. But once we can defeat the enemies in Miss Lance, we can collect these resources easy enough. Hair is passive mob used for making Mist Hair Supreme and Meat Platter. Two of the most high-end health food in the game as of Miss Lance update. They are so cute though. Can I just have them as pets? This is Infested Mines, Dungeon of Mistlands. We will talk about them in a future video. And that is some basic notes about how to deal with Mistlands enemies and what we will encounter. Hope these tips will help some of you out. Have fun in Mistlands, risk our lives, and see you again soon. Later!